hi guys welcome back to another video today in this video we are going to create a progress bar using html and css you can see we have added animation in this progress bar at the end of this progress bar you can see this circle and in this circle you can see the percentage in the number it is 86 percent 74 percent like this we will make this progress bar design using html and css only so before starting this video i would like to thanks bluehost for sponsoring this video bluehost is very good website to buy domain name and web hosting if you will buy a web hosting from bluehost you will get the free ssl certificate free seo tool and free cdn when you will buy web hosting for one year you will get the free domain name also in any of the web hosting plan you get the ssd storage which is very fast and you get the unmetered bandwidth it means there will be no issue with the traffic you can drive n number of traffic on your website and your website will be always up and running here you get the free ssl protection i will put the bluehost link in the video description so that you can come on this website in one click and start building your website if you don't know how to build your website with bluehost i have dedicated video on this one where you can learn how to build and publish your website in just few minutes you can find that video link also in the description now let's start this video here in this folder i have one html file one css file let me open these files with my code editor which is visual studio code so this is the html file where i have added basic html structures and this one is the css file in this HTML file, I have added this link tag that will connect HTML and CSS file. Now we will add codes in the body tag that will be displayed on our web page. So here, let's add a div with the class name container. Next, we have to add the CSS for this container. So just add this class name in the CSS file and here we will add the width and height of the container. Next, we have to add the background. This is the color code for the background. After that, we will add display, flex, align items center and justify content center so that we will add any content in this container that will be displayed in the center. After adding this, let me come back to the folder and open this HTML file with any web browser. Now you can see this dark color on complete web page because we have added dark background color. Let me come back and in this container, let's create another div with the class name skills because we will display the skills in this progress bar. And here, let's add a title in H2. So the title is HTML. And after this title, there will be one progress bar. So let's add another div with the class name progress bar. In this progress bar, we have to add another small div that will be for limited width so here again we will add a class name and let's add the class name html and within this one we have to add the percentage in number so here we will add a span and within this span tag add a number here we will add 86 percent after adding this let me preview the web page again and you can see HTML 86% similarly we will add other progress uh, title and progress bar also so let me duplicate this one this title and this div which is progress bar here we will change the title it is CSS now the third one is JavaScript next one is Python and let me add one more title and progress bar so this one is react after that we have to change the class name also so in the first one we have added the class name html so here i will add css this one javascript now the next one python and the last one react and here we will change the percentage so for the second one let me add anything smaller than the first one so it is 74 now in the next one 65 percent then 54 percent and this one 49 percent now you can see title and percentage that's it 
Next, we have to add the CSS for all these elements that we have added in the HTML file. So first, let's come back and here we have the class name skills. So let's copy this class name and add it here in the CSS file. And within this skills, we have added the title in H2 tag. So for this H2, we have to decrease the font weight. Then let's add the letter spacing, one pixel. And there will be some space from the top and some space from the bottom also. Color will be white, which is triple F and font size 16 pixel. Now these titles are in the white color. Let me come back and here you can see we have the class name called progress bar and in this progress bar we have a uh, div. So first we will add the CSS for this progress bar add this class name in the CSS file and for this one we have to add the background width will be 600 pixel and uh, height very small 10 pixel and border radius so that the sides of the progress bar will be round so I'm adding border radius 5 pixel you can see these bars five times next we have to add the css for the inner div like this here we have added progress bar then div so let's add the same class name in the css file then write div here we have to add the height it will be 10 pixel same as the parent div then border radius will be same five pixel and let me add the width 50% for now. Let me add the background color also. So here we will add the background red and refresh the website. So you can see this red color up to 50% of each progress bar. This is the temporary. We will add different width for this colored bar. We will come back and here we have added this span tag and in this span we have the percentage. So we will add the CSS for this span. So again, we will add same class name progress bar, then div. And in this div, we have a span. So in this span, we have to add the height and width. Height will be 40 pixel and width also 40 pixel. Then we will add border radius. Border radius will be 50% so that it will be a circle. Then let me add the background. I'm adding white background here. And uh, after that, float right. So it will be on the right side of the progress bar. Then margin top minus 15 pixel and margin right. minus 20 pixel then color color will be this one so that the text will be visible and let's add display flex align item center and justify content center so that the text inside this pan will be in the center after adding this you can see this circle at the 50% of the each progress bar and we have different text here. Let me change its color and here we will add white. This text will be white and instead of this background white, we will add the same color that we have added in the body background like this. Next, we have to apply the different color in each progress bar. For that, you can see in this HTML file, we have added different class name, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Python, and React. So for each one, we will add different color. So let me come back to the CSS and here, let's add .html 
and for the first one here we will add the background color so this is the background color for the first skill let me duplicate it and we will change the class name and we will change the color also So we have applied different background in each progress bar and let me come back here you can see we have added background red let me remove this one delete this background red now again refresh the website and here you can see different color in each progress bar next we have to add the radius inside this circle which is for the span tag so again come back and uh, here we will add dot html span because we have created circle using a span tag and here we will add border one pixel solid and color code similarly we will add different color for each span So now we have added different border for each span. Now you can see border around this circle. Right now width of each progress bar is same. So we have to add different width. But the width will be animated whenever we will refresh the website. The width will start from zero and it will go up to fixed percentage that we will add in each skill. So for that let's come back. Here we will add animation. So here let me add animation. HTML one second linear forwards and uh, let's see where we have added width 50% yeah for progress bar div we have added width 50% so instead of 50% we will add 0% like this so initially width will be 0 and here we are adding animation and through this animation we will increase the width to a fixed percentage so let's add this animation in each progress bar like this and change the name of the animation it is CSS JavaScript Python and react after this animation CSS properties, we have to add the keyframes for each animation. So here, let's add keyframes and HTML. For this HTML animation, we will add the keyframes. So let's add 100% and on 100% the width will be increased. So just add width and 86% for the first one. Simply duplicate it and change the name of the animation it is css width will be 74 percent it is for the javascript width will be 65 percent then we will add python 54 percent and the last one react 49 percent after adding this let's refresh the website again and now you can see whenever we will refresh the website the width of the progress bar is starting from zero and going to the fixed percentage so finally we have created this animated beautiful progress bar using html and css i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video